Hi, welcome back to another Mav Computers tutorial. My name is David Cease, and I'm going to walk you through this process. Today, we're going to be working with VoIP options. Please follow along. There's going to be several videos and topics that we cover. If you have any questions, please post below, and we'll be glad to answer them. Hey, welcome back to another training video. In this series, we are going to go over extensions. All right, to access your extensions, go ahead and um, open up your favorite browser, go to VoIP, mathcomputers.com and log in with your core dial credentials. Once on your dashboard, navigate to the bottom left where it states apps and then open up your automation manager. On the top bar, you're going to go to services tab. And on the left hand menu, you're going to scroll down to you reach extensions. All right. This list should show you all the phone extensions that you have on your phone system. Um, just helpful point outs here. Um, if your users are logging into your dashboard and they're active, you can see green. If they're not logged in, it's red. The middle one is if there is a physical phone attached to your extension. And then the last one is if your users are using the Core Dial or Core Nexa application on their phones, then you can see it green here. If it's gray, that means they're not using it or not logged in. All right, for this example, let's go ahead and open up my extension. All right, now you are going to see some options here. Um, I would suggest that you never try to update the extension number. Once this is programmed in, in the back end of the phone system, it's tied to a few things such as um, your voicemail, for example. If you were to change this to 202, your voicemail would still think it's 201 and it would cause some issues. So if you ever need to switch the extension number, just give us a call and we'll help you out with that. As far as the name goes, it doesn't matter what name you put in here. Um, this is only to identify it locally on the phone system so you can know what extension and what location it's at at a glance. All right. As far as outgoing phone numbers, you have the option of pulling this down and switching if you have multiple DIDs or phone numbers. This is extremely helpful if you have a marketing department and you guys share the phone system and you don't want your main number to show, but perhaps the marketing number that you want people to call you back on to track uh, any kind of incoming calls. Um, your E911 location must be set for your business location and then how long you want the extension to ring before it goes to your personal voicemail. As far as the SIP here, as long as your phone is online and registered, this will be green. If your phone was unplugged, this is going to turn red. Options below. All right. You can always do a call forward and you can select where you want it to forward to or you can turn do not disturb on right here on your phone extension. Um, as far as try first goes, it always tries to ring your phone if somebody dials in your direct number. Okay, If you're busy, which means if you're on the other line, it's going to send it to voicemail. If for some reason you're away from the office and somebody calls and misses you, this setting is set to um, send to your voicemail as well. But you could also change this and have it forward to your cell phone. If your phone is offline or unplugged, you can have this forward to your cell phone, but in most cases, for most users, we just have it go to your mailbox. You have the option of playing or recording your um, three messages. Your unavailable message, of course, is if you're not um, at the phone and no one answers. Your busy message is if you're on the phone and somebody beeps in, it'll play a different message. Um, this would be a good example of saying you're on the other line, please leave a message, you'll get back to them. The unavailable would be, I'm sorry I'm away from the office. So, and then your name is just self-explanatory. It's just your first and last name, or, or even your just your first name, whatever you prefer. Um, as far as Find Me goes, like I explained in the uh, previous page, when somebody calls your direct phone, it always rings your extension first. Okay. If you would like it to ring your extension, and then if you don't answer, automatically ring your cell phone or cell phones or other landlines in uh, order, you can do that just by changing, uh, adding in your numbers and changing these settings. Right. 
If you make any changes, make sure that you scroll down and hit the Save button. It could take upwards to five minutes to save, and you'll see the little one icon up here on this um, refresh icon. Once that disappears, your settings have been saved, and you are good to go. All right, that concludes our tutorial for today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Uh, we can always be reached via phone at 512-251-6446 or via email at help at mavcomputers.com. As always, thank you and have a great day.